I worked as part of the university for uh, more than five years now. And I started as part of the IT Futures team, which was a project, a very successful project funded by AWM and the RDF, and was meant to give uh, general IT consultancy to companies. Our purpose is to help local companies to start adopting radio frequency identification as part of their process. RFID is a technology which allow us to embed or to attach a small and cheap radio transmitter called RFID tag into objects, which can be boxes of products, pallets, containers, but we can put it on animals or even on people. And this information containing the tag is, can be as simple as the barcode for the product, can be uh, additional information like the expiry date for a box, uh, but it can contain sensor reading uh, like temperature. The biggest advantage is that to read an RFID tag, you don't require line of sight as a, with a barcode. You don't actually have to see the tag. The tag can be inside the box. And also, you can read up to 100 of RFID tags at the same time. This allow you to go with a pallet full of boxes through a portal and have a clear list of what is inside the pallet. The reputation we have is at the moment excellent. We offer our services for free to eligible SMEs in the region, but we also offer paid consultancy, commercial consultancy, and this is UK-wide and is uh, I'm very proud of having people coming from London to visit the University of Wolverhampton to get a consultancy that is uh, really giving us points. We had a large number of successes. I can mention Easy Salvage, which is a local salvage yard based in Darlaston, and they contacted us in 2008 because they have a nine acre site with 3,000 cars, and they have massive, massive problems locating the car, tracing what was happening, everything was doing they were doing it in a manual way. So working with them, we developed a system which is integrating GPS and RFID. And now they have real-time traceability. They know exactly where every car is and where it has been. And this was nominated for the ICT Cluster Award in 2008.